Another great feature on Sage are the smart links which are found on some of the screens. Um, now I've particularly noticed them in the sales invoicing um, and also on the sales and purchase order processing if you use those. There may be elsewhere um, but I couldn't find any more when I looked for them. So if I just show you, um, go to the invoicing module and let's say we want to set up a new invoice, click on the new edit button that brings us up with the invoicing screen and in the details tab here we are here's a smart link and if you hover over it with the mouse um, Sage even tells you what the link is it's a smart link to account details so let's say you wanted to set up um, a new invoice for a customer which we obviously deal with elsewhere in the program but uh, just following on from the idea of smart links here Let's say we'll pick the first one off the list because that's the easiest one. So we might now, before we actually raise this invoice, we might want to have a look at the activity on this customer and that's what this little smart link does. So if we click on that, it takes us out of the invoicing window and into the customer record. So if we were I don't know, trying to remember what we charged for a similar service last time. We could go to the activity button and we could have a look at all the invoices we'd raised before. Click on one of the items and then um, see a breakdown of it here. That's just a sort of rough idea of what you might use that smart link for. And then when you finish looking at the customer record, you could either mi minimize it to put it away or you could close it and go back to the invoicing window. Now another little smart link down here for uh, click on that edit item line um, that uh, helps you to apply a discount to specific areas of the invoice so close that and down here, less deposit. This is where when you're raising an invoice you can actually show that uh, a deposit has already been paid. And this is a smart link to the payment tab, which actually is only here. <laughs> so you don't need the smart link. You could just click on the payment details, but it's, it's another way of leading you quickly through the creation of the invoice. So if you click on that, here we are in the uh, payment details tab. And then in that tab, here's another little smart link, which is a smart link to the bank details. So whilst you've got the pull down selection list there to decide which bank you're going to use, you can actually go to the bank, have a look at the activity and check out whatever you might need to check out there. So that's the bank smart link. Close that eventually then go back to the details tab on the invoice and once you've actually selected something here you'll see that you also get a, a smart link on the description key which takes you into the um, breakdown of that item line and you can change things in here like quantity discount um, nominal code and so on so we'll close that draft invoice. No, we don't want to save it. We were just having a look. Thank you. So do you want to save changes? No. So those are the, are the smart links on Sage. Um, and if any of you can find any on any of the other screens, other than the invoicing one I've just shown you, then do let us know because um, there might be a little prize. I don't know, a nice lolly or something. So that's the end of the smart links.